Hello guys, this is Whisper in the Wind 2007 here. Got a deck profile of uh, what I took to uh, Portsmouth Regional today. Uh, I got 13th place with this deck and I'm very, very happy with that. And I, I believe I have uh, qualified for Euros for the first time. If that is the case, I am extremely happy with that. Um, so it was a great fun day. Uh, we'll go through the deck profile. So start off with first, we have Triple JD. Fucks everything. Luna, free of, free Raiden. Uh, those two work in great combo. Uh, Raiden, absolutely fantastic card at the moment. Uh, double Wolf, double Felice. Uh, I have doubled up those ratios because um, before I used to play one and one. Now I'm playing two and two. Fantastic move to do at the moment, obviously because of uh, Minerva. Um, you're getting those extra special summons, extra draws. And I, I've won plenty of games just off milling a wolf or a felice. So, you know, last round matchup, milled a double wolf and a uh, glow up bulb against Cosmo. So there was an instant trish there. But I've just been milling those two all day today. Uh, double Lila uh, gets you out of any emptinesses or anything like that. I, I actually used that on the uh, opponent, got rid of two of his solemn strikes. Uh, so, uh, Lila is putting in a lot of work. Uh, onto the performage part of the deck. Got double hat tricker, double damage juggler, and double trick clown. They all work very well in the deck. So, um, I play two. I two of some. I play two of some people play three of. Uh, whatever floats your boat. That's absolutely fine. Uh, onto the one offs. One Jane. One Ryko. One Aaron. One Garof. One Minerva, Light Swarm Maiden, one Bulb, that is uh, OP card uh, today, and one Electromagnetic Turtle. So that is all my monster cards. Uh, on to the spell cards. Double Instant Fusion. Double Twin Twister. I think that's a card that we've really been needing uh, at the moment in the game. Uh, with obviously without Heavy Storm or Harpy's Feather Duster, uh, Twin Twister is the next best thing. Uh, triple Solar Recharge and Double Charge, that's pretty normal for Light Swarm decks to play those at maxes. Um, onto Track Cards, one Warning, one Bottomless, double Breakthrough Scale and one Solemn Strike. If I had more, I would play more, but I've only got one Solemn Strike. Uh, so, go on to Extra Deck. you got one Minerva. That is a very, very OP card. I absolutely love her. So, not physically love her, but you know what I mean. Uh, one Castell, one 101. Pretty standard in a Rank 4 deck. Uh, one Trap Tricks Raffle Seer. I honestly didn't make that today, but when my opponents made it, it's quite a tricky card to get around. It's a horrible card to deal with. So uh, it is a good card, I just didn't use it. Uh, one Norden, self explanatory. Uh, Nat Beast, uh, mostly for the Pendulum decks, although I ended up using that. I only ended up using that against a Medolce deck. But still, it saved my bacon from a uh, Roy Gicky. Uh, there's an Ancient Sacred Wyvern, very OP card. If you can get it, get it right. Just OTK straight away. I've done that a couple of times today. Uh, one Black Rose didn't make it. Clearing didn't make it. Michael made a couple of times. Uh, this one, I never thought I'd actually end up using it, but I, I, I actually got some really good use of it as mod eyes. Mod eyes. Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon. Got some really good use out of that, and I think I've won a couple of games uh, from it because I think maybe my opponent might have had a damage juggler in hand. You just use that, they can't use it. Um, moving on, level 8. One Blader. Uh, ended up using that once against uh, Infernoid. And actually, I used it against Medolce as well, but I just used it because it was a beat stick. Uh, one Star to Spark. Uh, brilliant card that actually. Um, if you have that out with Minerva, it's it's a really good uh, combo to have. Uh, one Trishula 
And finally, I am playing. I played one Alloy of Justice Decisive Armor. Uh, that one, you go against any light based deck. As uh, there were a few Telenite players, I, I was told there was actually a few Light Swarm decks there as well. Uh, but I never went up against them. But that card is absolutely OP if you go up against any light based deck. You know, you can either empty their hand. Uh, Harpy Feather Dust of them. I think it also banishes a set card as well. Um, but I, I just used it for over the uh, Feather Duster or the removing cards from the opponent's hand. So that is an absolutely OP card in free free beat stick is uh, pretty good stats. Uh, side deck, triple mistake, uh, anti spell fragrance. Use that against pendulum deck. So it was really good on in my Pepe match. Uh, because the two Pepe matches I, I had, uh, game two in both of them, I opened up anti spell and that just that's auto win against them. Uh, triple decree, that actually won me my round one matchup just by flipping up one decree. Uh, two cyclone, I did side into them at times, uh, it just depending on the deck and if you're worried about certain cards. Uh, two iron wall and two trap tricks, trap hole nightmare. Uh, that was a very good card in my Madolce matchup because it just stopped stopped their plays dead. That they just could not do anything. So uh, just very quick on to the uh, matches. Um, round one was chain burn, quite easy one actually. Uh, one game one quite quickly, and then game two I summoned Lila, set two cards, pass turn, his turn. He set a load in the back row, end phase, I flipped up Royal Decree, he instantly scooped. That was just, that was my quickest match today. Uh, round two, Infernoid, um, I'm actually glad to see them still being played. Uh, that one I won 2 1. He had a couple of brick hands, and uh, I had a, I had an iron wall, and I just kept protecting it by whatever means he tried to get rid of it, because it, he was using his Lila, and I just loads like breakthrough skill in and all that it just protect it so uh, that one was 2-1 round 3 was Pepe my first one uh, lost that one 2-1 but it was a very exciting game very close uh, so um, it it was the I got the game 2 um, game 2 had the anti-spell fragrance it was just auto win game 3 uh, he just done the usual Pepe stuff and won uh, Round four, Burning Abyss. Uh, surprised to see that there, but it was. Uh, I mean, I made a lot of misplays in that. I still, I still won it two 0 but I made a lot of misplays in that. And uh, yeah, don't summon Lumina if you don't have a target in the grave. Uh, it's uh, very embarrassing. Uh, so I won that one uh, two 0 uh, Round five of my other Pepe match. Uh, it was pretty similar to my first Pepe match uh, but I didn't quite come out on top of that in game 3 he his opening turn he ended up with Cyber Dragon Infinity and Raffle Seer on the field and it was one of those things we I, I don't like I, I couldn't make any any play I mean I actually done like a, I done like a test thing afterwards with the cards that I had in hand I didn't shuffle up my deck or anything and had he not had those two cards on the field, I could have ended up with uh, a Judgment Dragon which I could summon, and then I would have ended up with a Mistake, Anti-Spell Fragrance, Botanist Trap Hole, and Breakthrough Skill on the field. So, had he not had those cards on the field, I probably would have won, but you can't win them all. Um, so that was round five. Round six was Madolce. Uh, I thought he was playing the Brilliant Fusion build, so I ended up like summoning uh, Crimson Blader against him, but he was using uh, some psychic cards in those with e -Tally. It was very clever, very clever deck, and uh, it, I won that one two one. It was a real struggle, but it, in that one, it just depended who got Nat Beast out, because whoever got Nat Beast out in either games one, two, or three ended up winning. So uh, yeah, that. That was a very tense game. My final round was against Cosmo. We had a few uh, issues there with judges. Uh, I'm not going to slate them because they do give up their time. And, uh, you know, we we as players, we make bad calls and it's just as easy for a judge. So I'm not going to slate them. But we got it all sorted. Um, 
it was to do with a Cosmo Farm Girl because I activated a uh, breakthrough skill on it that had resolved and then he tried banishing it for uh, special summon a uh, one of the higher ones and uh, what the first judge said it was okay I appealed to the head judge and uh, he actually said no it's not okay uh, but I ended up winning that one off of a Trishula uh, did, ha did have to explain to him a little bit that Trish didn't target uh, so it, it it was that was a frustrating one, and then uh, game two I could I could have made Trishula again, but when it got to that point, I could have just attacked him for game anyway. So uh, yeah, that was that was a very fun matchup. So uh, those are my matchups. Uh, so uh, you know, any, any changes to the deck I make, I'd say I definitely need to add Maxi. Uh, it, I was umming and ahhing about it and it was a card I, with hindsight, really should have added. But other than that I'm not going to complain, 13th place is my best ever result at a regional. And I'm really happy with that, so uh, this is Whisper in the Wind 2007 signing out.